hi you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog i wanted to pick up the camera and start vlogging i think this is going to be like a couple days in my life vlog but i wanted to start off this vlog by giving a little haul i have a couple clothing pieces that i just got in and i really want to show you guys because i'm so excited to wear them i feel like i'm finally like upping my wardrobe and buying like higher quality clothing items so first is lululemon first one that i got is just this really pretty emerald green it's like an emerald green bluish tight long sleeve this is the nulu crew neck long sleeve and i think it is so cute i love how like down here it's first off longer and then down here there's more fabric so it, like cinches you in more and i love the color of this i absolutely love this color on me so when i saw it i was like okay i have to get that this is a flowy one it's just this really pretty brown color and the back like goes lower there's a fun little detail there the arms are like super tight they get tight around your wrist and i just really love it it's a v-neck this is the shoot i don't know the name of this one because i took the tag off but if i find the name of this i'll put it on the screen here but i've already wore this to work out it's honestly become my favorite workout top sometimes when i work out i don't like working out in tight items i don't know why i'm like that but I like flowy so this was really really nice to work out with i just wore this in leggings and i loved it and then this is the thing i'm most excited for i got this lulu jacket it is the prettiest color it's like a magenta would you call this magenta magenta i don't really know but it's like this pinky color and it is the scuba scuba oversized funnel neck half zip and I absolutely love that it is oversized. I think it gives like the cutest look ever. I love how the back goes down further. And I just honestly love every detail of this jacket. It's such nice quality. I absolutely love it. This is my first time ever having a scuba jacket. I've never had one. So that is everything I got from Lululemon. I love it all. And then my next place is Aritzia. They're the Cozy Perfect Sweatpants in Heather Cloud White and i think they're the cutest thing these are like the best quality sweatpants i've ever had so i'm really excited to wear these i also got the matching sweatshirt i had to exchange that too though for a different size so that one should be coming in sometime this week i'm so excited to wear this as a sweat set this is my first nice high quality sweat set and i'm so excited about it i have a hair mask in my hair currently so i'm gonna go take a shower wash my hair do all of that and then i actually have a couple appointments later that we're gonna run to i'm about to run out the door i have a botox appointment at two o'clock today it's through my dentist though because i'm getting botox in my jaw i have really bad tmj jaw and basically they want to prevent it from becoming like a permanent issue to the point where it like has affected my joint so my options were to either get botox in them or wear like a mouth guard every single night when i go to bed and i knew that i would not ever wear the mouth guard because i can barely wear my retainers without them driving me crazy so yeah i'm getting botox in my masseters today i'm really really nervous honestly i think i'm just scared i know that they change it changes like your face look i'm honestly just scared that it's going to change it to a point that i don't like it i'm just really praying that it doesn't do that i mean i'm sure it won't it does make me nervous so that i'm getting through my dentist and not like going to someone who like only does botox because i know if i went to someone that only did botox they would like make sure obviously that my face was proportional and looked good right now i'm currently making a chicken salad to eat before i head out the door because after my botox appointment i have a interview today actually so i am going to be staying in town after my botox appointment and then going to my interview <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm out of the dentist. I just got my Botox done. It literally took me 10 minutes. I don't know why I thought it was going to be, like, the whole process of, like, numbing and everything. I think it's just because I've only ever gotten my lips done, so that's, like, the only thing I'm comparing it to. And for the lips, you have to, like, numb the lips, and it's, like, a whole, like, 30-minute process. But this literally took me 10 minutes. You can't even honestly see, like, where they injected me. Like, those are just blemishes, but... I don't know it did not honestly hurt at all it was just like a little pinch 
and it took him probably five seconds to do it i'm so excited to see how well this helps i'm just like so relieved that it's just finally done he told me that mine are like huge so no wonder i've been having the hor like the worst migraines ever he said it's gonna take like a full two weeks until i fully notice the difference but i'll definitely keep you guys updated on how i'm feeling and how it's working i'm hoping that i don't have to come in every three to four months to get it like redone but he said just kind of depending on like how my masseters affect like react to it i might still have to come in every three to four months which i kind of knew i was obviously gonna have to get him touched up since it is botox but it's currently 2 30 right now i don't have my interview until 5 15 so i have to kind of waste time while i'm in town i don't really want to go shopping though because the last thing that i need to do is spend my money so i think i'm gonna go honestly hang out at my mom's work edit a youtube video and then I also brought a book to read, so I might redo that until I go to my interview. I'm back in my car. I'm just leaving my mom's work. I still have like an hour until my interview, but I was tired of sitting there. So I'm going to go to Starbucks and get a tea. I'm really craving a tea right now. And I have a bunch of Starbucks gift cards from Christmas. So I'm going to go use them on this tea. I'm really excited about it. And then I think I'm just going to get ready in my car. And by that time... I'm pretty sure that it'll be time for my interview. I was looking up Starbucks teas. I've honestly never really gotten... Oh my gosh. I've honestly never really gotten a tea from Starbucks before. But right now I can't have caffeine because I'm working with a new doctor. They only have one tea that doesn't have caffeine. And it's like a mint one. Hi. I was wondering, does your guys' Mint Majesty tea have any caffeine in it? I believe so, yes. Do you have any decaf tea? Well, we cannot guarantee it actually is. Just let you know, okay? Okay. I'm not going to get anything today then. Thank you. Okay, yeah, not a problem. I hope you have a good rest of your day. You too. Okay, well, I'm actually not getting a tea today, guys. Just kidding. That's really sad. So now I'm just going to go park somewhere and start getting ready for this interview that I have. Okay, right, I'm parked. I'm gonna start getting ready for this thing. I honestly think I'm not, like I'm gonna barely do any makeup just because I don't, I'm not supposed to put makeup on my Botox areas. And then I like wash my face and I feel like it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna cover up my blemishes, maybe put some blush on and like do my eyebrows and probably mascara. I wanted to talk to you guys while I'm sitting here doing my makeup. On this channel all the time, I feel like I mentioned like that i'm like healing myself and all of that and i've mentioned kind of a little bit that i'm dealing with a chronic illness and like i'm healing from a chronic illness right now and i didn't know if that was something you guys would be interested in me like talking more about on my channel maybe making a video explaining like what i'm actually dealing with and like what the protocol i'm going through to heal myself I wanted to see more videos kind of of me i don't know like that side of me that side that is healing and putting all the work into all of that i mean do not get me wrong so much work goes into healing a chronic illness and it is so hard i feel like so many people these days deal with chronic illnesses and i if you want the truth it's just because of literally what how america is today and like the food we're allowed to eat and like the environment we all live in and the high stress and everything like that is just what's contributing to all of these chronic illnesses and i have had one for like three plus years and we're just now getting to the root cause of it all and i'm just now like on a healing protocol i've moved back home from my college i used to live two hours away to go to college and it just got so bad that i had to move back home because i was not seeing any healing or any results obviously living in a college environment and drinking alcohol all the time was very hard for me to ever see those results I have a lot of experience when it comes to chronic illnesses and stuff like that mine's more just like i've had chronic bloating for three years of my life now and there's so many other symptoms i also experienced but that's just been like the main one that's been so mentally draining because it's just never fun to be bloated and you always just feel uncomfortable in your body and it's really just like hard it's very hard mentally to deal with that and go through that especially at my age where like i'm supposed to be in college wearing cute little outfits and stuff like that and when you're bloated like all honestly 
I like don't even want to put on clothes because it's just so uncomfortable and I never feel comfortable in what I'm wearing. So I'm just so happy that I'm finally on my healing journey with all of that and that I'm finally figuring out everything that's going on with me. So I would absolutely love to help anyone out there if they're also dealing with that, please reach out to me. I've learned so much through the past three years and I'm actually going to school to be able to help people who deal with that. So please, please reach out to me. I'd love to help you, but also just leave a comment down below if that's something you're interested in seeing more of. I definitely would love to incorporate that in my videos. Maybe just like a day in the life of everything I do to like lower my stress levels and deal with my chronic illness or if it's just literally a sit down video explaining it all to you guys. I'd be happy to do either of those. So please, please let me know. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that right while I'm like sitting here. Not, well obviously I'm getting ready but I'm not doing anything else. Oh shoot, I didn't bring my brush for this. So I'm just going to have to use my... I'm gonna get ready and go to this interview. I feel like I've been saying that I'm going to go to this interview for so long and then I just keep saying, coming back, but I'm gonna get ready and I'll talk to you guys later tonight when I'm back home from it. I really, really hope that it goes good. Hi you guys, I just got back home from my interview. I think it went really, really, really good. I'm super excited to hear back from her. She has like four other interviews and then I'm gonna hear back from her probably sometime next week. It went really good, I'm super happy about it. It's also, I love that it's in a holistic spa because that's just literally right down my alley since I'm such a holistic girl. And they have like a massage therapist, they have aesthetics in there, it's like a little boutique. They have a red light sauna, like literally everything I could dream of, they have. And if I work there, I get to use the sauna for free also, which literally makes me so happy. So I'm hoping and praying that I get it, but obviously whatever is meant to happen is gonna happen. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on how my interview went. I'm so ready to get out of these jeans, so I'm gonna change into comfy clothes and then go make, I think I'm just gonna make like chicken and veggies for dinner tonight, just super simple, but I don't feel like doing that much work for it. I've also gotten so many compliments on this sweater. Everybody says that this color looks so good on me. So if you know what color this is and you like find your colors, like is it like a summer, autumn, winter type deal? If you know, let me know because I really want to get my colors done, but I do not want to pay for them. So obviously this is one of my colors. I feel like I don't even know what this would be. Like, is this a winter? But so many people have complimented me on it. And I love that. That's like the best feeling. I decided that I wanted to take a bath tonight, so I think I'm going to. I know that I already showered, but I'm just really in the mood to like have a nice warm bath. So I'm gonna take off my makeup. I absolutely have been loving taking my makeup off with this Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. It is my favorite thing to take my makeup off with. I just got the travel or like the little mini size to try it out, and I'm almost out, so I'm gonna have to upgrade to the big size. But that makes me so sad because it's so expensive and i don't want to buy it which is literally why i bought just a small size of it but it actually is so so good i love it i've also heard really good things about i think it's what brand is it and they just have like a cleansing oil emma mcdonald was talking about it the other day and i really want to try that also because i feel like i'd like that i don't know i'd have to go and look at it but i also kind of want to try that because i used to have to, i wear waterproof mascara every single day so i used to have to literally take off my mascara with coconut oil because nothing else would take it off since it's waterproof and ever since i found this it's been game changer i love it so if you wear waterproof mascara highly 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 recommend using a cleansing balm because it takes it right off but yeah i'm gonna take a nice relaxing bath it sounds so good right now
good morning you guys it's currently 6 30 right now in the morning and i am headed to my workout i'm like wide awake this morning because i got so much sleep last night it's not even funny i went to bed at like probably like nine o'clock honestly is when i fall asleep which is so good for me it's usually so hard for me to fall asleep so i love that for me I have so much energy. Look at it outside. It's literally completely frosted over and like so foggy. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's honestly freaking me out. I'm done with my workout. That was such a good workout. We did leg day today and it killed me. My legs are like literally shaking. I love starting my day with a workout and I love honestly that I've become like a workout girl and a gym girl. It's changed my life. I just love being a wellness girl so much and I will forever stand by that. So if you're not, like, girl, I promise you, do it. I'm gonna go home and probably make some breakfast because I'm so hungry. But also, why is it actually so creepy outside right now? My whole drive into my workout, it was so foggy. I could not see anything. And that's like the worst thing. And I. I don't know why, but I cannot figure out how to turn my fog lights on. Like, I don't know what button goes to my fog lights, so. guys good morning whoa way overexposed it is currently seven o'clock right now i'm up and at it this morning i am going to go walk on our peloton treadmill for a little bit and then i'm gonna do some at home pilates i think i'm really in a pilates mood today and we didn't go to the gym so that's what i'm gonna do i babysit at around 9 30 so i have a couple hours this morning but I wanted to just wake up and get a workout in. I'm really excited to walk on the Peloton because we just got it. So I haven't even used it yet. And I'm really excited to use it and see how I like it. I really want to become a Pilates girl. I've been wanting to become a Pilates girl for like the longest time. I've always done at-home Pilates, but I've never like been able to go to a studio and like actually do like perform a Pilates. Because where I live... There's nowhere you can even go to do that. We don't even have like a Pilates studio or anything like that. The closest Pilates studio, I think it's like two hours away. So that's just like really disappointing. I always have to do at-home Pilates, which is like fine. I feel like at-home Pilates still does like really good. Your hips square to the floor, four more, three and one, excellent. Place your left foot, let's pedal our heels, alternate bending, Once both heels down to the floor, walk your hands back to your feet and roll up to standing. I just got done with my workout. It was so, so good. I feel so good that I moved my body. I always do the move with Nicole Matt Pilates on YouTube. I either do that one or I do the Melissa Wood Health 
but I don't currently have my subscription active for Melissa Wood Health. I really love doing the movement with Nicole. That's what I did today. I did just a little 15 minute express one because I still felt the burn so good. I don't have that much time because I do have to go babysit, which is why I only did 15 minutes, but it felt so good. I love Pilates so much. I'm now gonna go upstairs and make a smoothie. I'm so hungry. And the smoothie sounds so good and refreshing right now. So I think I'm going to make a berry smoothie. Also, guys, it's like still winter wonderland out here. It's just such gross weather. Like, you can't even see out there because it's so foggy. And I just want the sun to shine. Like, that's all I need right now is to see the sun and, like, feel the sun on oh, my body. That just would feel so good right now. Guys, look what I got. This little light to put on my camera for when I vlog. Because when it's nighttime, I feel like my quality is so bad because I don't have good lighting. So I'm really, really excited to use that. I feel like it'll come in handy. And then I also got this big thing of Cranberry Fizz poppies off of Amazon. I'm so excited about this, guys. You have no idea. I've wanted to try this flavor for so long. And I couldn't find it anywhere because it's nowhere in like stores near me. So I literally ordered this whole thing off of Amazon and I'm so excited. Poppy, if you're seeing this, I literally love you. Please sponsor me. Yeah, I have one of these literally every single night. And I know I'm going to love this because I love cranberry spray. And I feel like that's what this is going to taste like. I know that I got it after the holiday season. So it kind of like defeats the purpose of it being a holiday drink. But I literally don't even care. Like... I love Poppy so much and I had to show you I honestly thought I was getting like a four pack but like no we're getting the whole freaking thing and I'm not complaining about it I'm so excited from work it was such a long day i'm so happy to be home and it's friday night but i honestly do not feel like going out i feel like i just want to kind of have a relaxing night at home which i hate that because every time i feel like that i always feel so guilty then because i'm like okay i'm in my 20s like i should be going out and having fun right but i like literally do not feel like going out i just want to have a night at home i think and like literally lay in my bed and watch YouTube. That's what I want to do. I want to like get my room together and watch YouTube, I think. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm like trying to sit on my... Let's move you. Let's open my drawer. Like try to set you in my drawer maybe. But yeah. So I don't think I'm going to go out tonight. Which I'm totally okay with that. I am just so happy it's the weekend. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow and I'm so excited. My I literally broke my middle finger. If it would focus. I broke my middle finger and then this one is like, you know, to the point where it's basically off. But you're like trying to get it to hold on so your nail underneath doesn't break. That's like where it's at. And like if I run it through my hair, then it gets stuck in my nails and it drives me insane. So they need to get done asap i think i'm just gonna, honestly gonna do a plain color i'm like over the design i loved my little bows but like i'm over i'm in my plain nail i like that better Those are crooked. It's me crazy. but right now i think i'm gonna take down my christmas tree in my room i'm over having it in here i'm just ready for like i love christmas decorations and i love christmas but when you have them for too long i feel like it just starts to seem like they're just like a cluttery mess so I'm ready for my room just to feel like put together and not have this Christmas tree here anymore. So I'm gonna take it on my Christmas tree. And then I also have this big pile of clothes. Um, if you watched my 2024 reset video, then I went through my closet and got rid of so many clothes and I wanna sell some of them. So I think I'm gonna go through them, make a sell pile and then also just make like a donation pile. And then also probably a trash pile because some of them are literally t-shirts from high school. And no one's going to want those. Like even if I were to give them to Goodwill, I don't think anybody would want those. So I'll probably trash some of those too. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm so excited to be home. Oh, I just want to like lay down and stretch. Also guys, my legs. 
my legs are so sore me and tc did a leg workout yesterday and we literally just did an all machine leg workout day but sometimes those ones are like the most killer my the back of my legs are so sore my hamstrings and they've been so sore all day if we're being honest I just feel like I'm really, really excited about life lately. I feel like everything's going in the direction that I want it to go in. And I just feel like I'm finally doing things that are, like, making me happy. And I just love that so much. And, like, I just, like, am actually so happy. And you know, like, the happiness when you, like, lay in bed at night and you can't fall asleep because you're just, like, are thinking about everything in your life. And, like, all, like, I, like, lay in bed at night. And I think about all the good things happening in my life and like all the things I'm excited for. And then I can't sleep because I just literally play over and over and over in my head all the time. So if you know what I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm definitely not the only one. Like I feel like that's a very common thing, right? I guess I don't know now that I'm saying it, but I'm just like so happy about life and I love it. I also, sorry, I was looking at myself in the viewfinder and I need a soft tan. So I'm also going to do that tonight, I think. I would rather just lay in my bed right now. I'm going to be productive first and then make supper and then lay in my bed. currently taking pictures of all the clothes I'm selling and then I'm gonna put them on I think I'm gonna put them on my Facebook first and then I don't really know honestly where else to sell them so I know like Instagram I can but I'd want to make like a private one so that everybody like just that just follows me doesn't have to see it and then like also I thought about a snapchat story but I also don't want to have to post that on my main story for people to add to so I don't really know if you guys would be interested in me putting any of these items on like a Poshmark or creating something like that for you definitely let me know and I would definitely do that I'll also link my Facebook down below if I can figure out how to do that so that you guys can get um go there and look at my clothes also I have lots of cute stuff I just got done, okay, it's really dark in here, so bear with me, but I just got done posting all my clothes, and now I'm finally going to get all relaxed and ready for my relaxing night. So, I'm going to take myself a warm bath here right now. I started done eating supper with my family. We had a really good supper. These, like, they were so good. They were sweet potatoes, but I made them, and I put them, like, in a skillet, and then I put coconut it's like coconut butter. I don't know. There's like a name for it, but basically it's coconut butter. And I put that in the pan with it and then I seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic and they were so good. If you've never made your sweet potatoes like this, you need to try them. I like literally sliced them up really small, put them in a big skillet and then put all those things in there with them. And then I just let them cook in the skillet for like probably a good like 15 minutes, honestly. And they were so good. I should have filmed myself making it. I'm sorry. I just like didn't even think about it. It's really hard to film when I'm upstairs and in my kitchen just because I do obviously live with my family. So it's like we're all up there and it's just like kind of harder to film and talk to my camera. I just got out of the bath. It felt so good. I threw on my robe and now I'm all cozy. I'm going to do my skincare real fast. And I'm loving all the products that I'm using. Basically, I'm just using like this road skincare. I talked about this earlier today I think it was but I'm using all the road skincare and I've noticed the biggest difference in my skin like I feel like all the products that I'm working that I'm using right now are like working together really good and my skin just looks so good and other than like I'm purging here from the tretinoin that I'm using but 
other than that like it just all looks really really good i've been really really thinking about i feel like i want to live in a bigger city and this is like a pretty big thing like it's not something i can just like spontaneously do i feel like i need to make sure like i can financially do that and like it really scares me the idea of like moving to a city and not knowing anybody there and like how i'm going to be able to make those friends obviously i don't think i'm like I don't know i've always just been one that's like wants to move out of the state or move to a different area uh like literally if you talk to any of my friends i've always been that person like i originally was supposed to be living in arizona right now and then that kind of all fell through which like i understand why god made it all fall through now like i need to be here but i don't know it's just like i just like feel this like calling that i need to be in a big city and i'm not a big city girl like i grew up in a small town like i go i went to a small town high school and everything and i just like i want to be in a city where like i can go walk and get coffee and then i can go to a pilates studio because there's one like down the road you know what i mean just know that's not here like i would never find out where i'm living right now really really want to do it and honestly like right now would be my time to do it because I am doing like all my schoolings online so I can literally do or move or go anywhere that I want to. I just feel like I need to do it while I'm young and while I'm 20. Like this is the time that I can do it. I feel like I'd be missing the opportunity if like I didn't do it now. So I don't know guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I just like literally just like say fuck it and do it and just go and like find an apartment and go live somewhere for like a couple months and then just like come back if it's not my vibe like i i just want to move if any of you guys like understand like the feeling that i'm having right now please let me know because i've really really been thinking about it like really been thinking about it and i even was like looking at apartments when was it like two days ago i was looking at apartments like in different cities which are so expensive like literally so expensive but like i just want to literally right now like if i could just go do what i wanted to do i'd go move somewhere else a bigger city um i would get a job at lululemon and i'd create content i do my schooling online and then i work at lululemon and i would have a membership to a pilates like i would be so content if that was my life right now and i know that i'm not like i'm not trying to like complain or anything about my life right now because i'm so so grateful for like everything like the life that i'm living right now without all of that but i just like feel like that i would thrive anyway i'm really just like ranting to you guys and letting you know everything that i'm thinking i started using this babe last year and i just ordered it like i'm i just ordered a new one because i used to have really really long eyelashes and now they've all like fallen out and they're not long at all anymore and i'm pretty sure it's because i used to use this last year i'm from babe lash and I'm pretty sure it made my eyelashes like super, super long and thick. And then when I stopped using it, they all fell out. Using it again. I don't know since they all fell out, that's like kind of a bad sign that I shouldn't be using it. But but I am going to go put my comfy jammies on now. Okay, I'm in bed now and I'm going to watch Love Island for the rest of the night. Guys, Love Island Australia is so good. I'm currently watching their newest season. I think it's like season five and i'm obsessed with it i have like three more episodes left i think and i haven't been able to watch it lately just because i don't like watching tv before i go to bed and i feel like i never ha like i'm like oh i'm gonna sit down and watch tv during the day so it's really only on the weekends that i watch like any shows that i'm into at the time but i've been obsessed with this love island if you do not if you watch love island and you haven't seen love island australia Go watch the Australia one. I swear it's the best one out there. It's so good. And I think there's just something about the Australian accent that I'm obsessed with. Like, it makes me want to date an Australian. I am going to watch Love Island for the rest of the night. I think I'm going to go make a tea and watch Love Island and then probably read my book and go to bed. So I am going to end the vlog off here just because I want to start a new vlog tomorrow. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you stayed for the whole video, I seriously love you so much and I appreciate you. Like you are the people that are helping me make my dreams come true by becoming a YouTuber. And I just seriously like thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next vlog. Love you. Thank you.